seeks justice for an El Dorado County deputy, a man just found guilty for killing Brian Ishmael. Thanks for joining us now at 5 o'clock. I'm Elizabeth Clay. And I'm Curtis Mang. Your news streaming right now on CBS News Sacramento. You might remember the deputy and his partners were ambushed on an illegal weed farm back in 2019. The local community relieved but also saddened by the memory of that tragic day. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley spoke to a former deputy who says the law enforcement family is still grieving. Laura. Well, after more than a week of deliberation, finally a conviction for the man who killed El Dorado County Sheriff's Deputy Brian Ishmael. All of that happened, like you said, back in 2019, just down the road from where we're standing now in this very tight-knit community relieved. Finally, he's being held accountable. Paul. A lot of people know the first name of the postmaster at the post office right here in town. Uh, a lot of people are friends with the fire chief. Uh, it, it's that kind of, of tight knit community. Former El Dorado County Sheriff's Deputy Steve Atkinson relieved for his community after hearing Juan Carlos Vasquez Orozco was found guilty of killing El Dorado County Sheriff's Deputy Brian Ishmael back in 2019. It's the missing piece. Deputy Ishmael was killed after the DA says he and three other deputies were ambushed on Sand Ridge Road in El Dorado County. The guys in uniform are supposed to come home at the end of the day. Atkinson remembers hearing the dispatch audio of Deputy Ishmael entering the property he was called to by a man who claimed he was being robbed. It still sends chills down my spine. Walk up to the house. Behind the house to the south, there's a trail in the pool. Law enforcement is hours and hours of boredom, boredom punctuated by a few moments of sheer terror. So when you hear that kind of thing on the radio, uh, there's, there's no feeling like it that I can describe to you. Officer, down, and we can't get him out. He's down in the hole. Now, a tight knit town has closure, though some who knew Deputy Ishmael say they'll never be able to forget. But I'm glad they got him. I wish it never happened. His beautiful children growing up without a father, a really good father. Now, two others have been convicted in this case, including the property owner who did not disclose the fact that he knew the suspects who he said were robbing him at the time. Again, this happening back in 2019. Finally, some closure for not only the people in this area, but the law enforcement family as well. All right, Laura Hayfley reporting live for us this afternoon. Thanks, Laura.